Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Rainbow High and Shadow High unboxing. Today, we have got the newest in the boys that have been released. For Shadow High and for Rainbow High, we have got Rex McQueen repping Shadow High and Aiden Russell repping our original Rainbow High baddie group. So, these are from our newest releases where they have taken away the second outfits and dropped the prices just a little bit, but they are still, I think, a little overpriced for what they actually are, and especially now what they're giving us. But we're going to take a look and show you guys what they all come with. So thanks, Mini-Me, for the introduction. So first we have Aiden Russell. Now, as you can see, he's very cool. He's got a shirt, an over shirt jacket, shorts, pants, I mean, shorts, shoes, and socks as far as his outfit. He's also got a chain on there. He comes with some glasses over here and that's it for his fashion pieces. He does actually come with hangers, though, which is kind of bizarre, because some of our dolls in the previous series that had second outfits didn't come with hangers, and now we're getting hangers without a second outfit. They cannot make up their mind. But we get more accessories. So we get a cell phone, and we get a case, and we get a laptop, and then we get a water bottle. All all of those we have seen already, but it is kind of cool to have those things added on. But this doll comes in at $26.99, which is really not that much cheaper than what we were previously getting. So I don't know why they decided to change the price point. I think it may have been they were having to, they were winding up reducing things so much. But he's very cool. He is in the original three. They gave him a little bit of a different kind of look in his doll. They gave him more white hair than his like bluish hair that he has in the animation. But he's very cool. He's got a fashion design focus. Here's his art on the back. Very cute. Let me show you his UPC. Now he is one of the newer ones. I'm not sure what his actual street release date is, but I did pick him up at my local Target. So he's very cool. And of course they've got the uh, the artwork on this box is actually a little bit of a step up, I think. As you can see, he's got like his line art that's in there. So we're going to open him up and see how well that box opens up. So it does just have some side tape, is what it's looking like right now. Let me see if that's all it takes to come out, though, because that has not always been the case in the past. Okay, so here he is without his outer box. So he does just come out like that. As you can see, we do get a stand and another comb. I'm not sure where the stand part is. Oh, the stand is literally back there behind him, if you see that. I was wondering because I couldn't find where that uh, stand piece was in the box. But... He's very cool. And again, you see that artwork back there a little bit more clearly. These box inserts are actually, I think, better than the previous ones. But again, you're getting less with this doll. You just are. There's no way to pussyfoot around it. You're getting less with this doll. I'm sorry if that's offensive to anyone. Um, to 
free him from his plastic prison. Okay. So here he is. He looks really good, I think. He does have this little like belt chain thing that's attached to his shorts. I'm not sure if it's removable. I don't see. Mm. Okay. But he does have some little plastic parts that we're going to snip. Just real quick, right there at his shorts. Okay. And then he's got some more up here at his shirt. Okay. So that's what his little necklace looks like. It could benefit from a little um oh what's the word like an elastic but and he does have the ear the earring holes for like the head for like the earbuds um as you can see his hair is a little messy and it looks a little funky here in the back like i'm gonna have to do some serious trimming to get his hair really like under control and that might just be mine um, but as you can see, there's a lot of gel in his hair, but it is kind of fun. He's got just a little bit of gloss that's stuck on his face. Oh, I missed a, I missed a little thing right there. So there's a, another elastic that's connecting. Oh, no, there's one on this side too. God forbid they just put a shirt on somebody. Right. Oh, okay. So that's what he looks like, basically. Now his shoes do have some real laces, so that's kind of fun. And just a little bit of rainbow on the bottom. He is done in a gray, which I don't think this was actually his color in the show, but it's okay. We're getting the character and that's what's important. But he looks really good. But again, it's just the three pieces. So he does have a belt on these shorts. And then his shirt is a short sleeve shirt underneath. And we just pop it down. He could use a rubber band to keep his necklace in place. But it's okay. He does have a little bit of tinsel hair, which I don't love, just because tinsel hair never really works well, in my opinion. But he looks really good. So let's take a look at some of his accessories. So I'm going to try to get his... Oh gosh. The amount of tape that they stick in the back of these is ridiculous. I was kind of hoping to be able to save the inner box, but it's not easy to get that out. I just wanted the, uh, the stand out. So he comes with like a black stand, and it's like a dark gray, I guess, more than a black, but that is okay. So here is the rest of his stuff. So what we're going to do 
is we're gonna try there's a lot of tape on this box just like FYI in case you're wondering how well things are secured in the box they are really well secured what in the world? is it sealed on top of the box too what in the bloody hell? Okay, Rainbow High, you're getting a little weird with these packagings. Because, like, there's tabs, but the tabs do nothing. The stuff is, like, taped in, or not taped, but, like, sealed in there. Okay. Very bizarre. And then there's another panel, of course. And then there's more tape. Oh my god. The packaging is off the wall with this. So our standard Rainbow High hangers. Second generation Rainbow hangers. Here's the little phone that is showing Avery on there. Very cute. We do also get a little case, which has got that on the back. Let me show you compared to the real Little's phones. So here's the real little Maleficent phone. So these are of a similar size, you know? So it's very much like this is a bigger Android versus Apple kind of phone battle. The nice part about this case is it does have a finger grip on it, so that's an interesting surprise I wasn't expecting. Uh, we got this mold originally with our house. Very cute, same way with the laptop, but it's got our original trio. See, look, in the artwork, he looks much more blue than gray. That's why I'm like, I don't know. They redid his stuff. And I don't feel like his eyes were that, um, that angled in the show. But yeah, and he's got his sunglasses. So not too bad. But let's stick his stand together. So we can show you guys, see if they changed it up a little bit. Because it looks like they did. I don't know, this stand looks really big compared to our old ones that we used to have. Like, that seems like a really, really wide stand. Even for the boys, that seems like a big stand. Oh, I know what it is. It's because the boys never got updated to the new style of stand. So this must be the new style of boy stand. So there he is, ready to go with his accessories. So he really gets a phone, a case, a laptop, and a thermos, and then some useless little hangers. But he looks good. So I'll stick him there, and let's take a look at our Rex McQueen. Now Rex McQueen is our shadow high, but he actually does have just that like really darkly melanated tone that I love. Um, so he looks very good. He's got a water bottle, he's got a phone and a case and a laptop. So basically he is the shadow high version of Aiden. So we're gonna see. But he's got a little bit more accessory wise, I feel like, cause he's got the earbuds also instead of the sunglasses. Um, but he's also got the puffy coat, the shirt, which I think is a hoodie. I can't really tell. And some like sweatpants and shoes with actual laces as well. So he is again, a fashion design focus. Here he is on the back of the box with glitch. Looking very cute. Here is his UPC. He actually retails for $24.99 which is a little bit bizarre, 
that they changed it from the 2023 Shadow High release to the 2023 Rainbow High release. Just a little bizarre that they changed it like that. But it's okay. So here he is out of the box. Now, as you can see, he looks really good. Again, we've got our big puffy coats that we love so much. And he also comes with hangers. So, kind of interesting that we're getting hangers, but no second outfits. It's just a little bizarre. And I know, I know they are coming out with the fashion pack surprise boxes like they did with the bags and the shoes. But it still feels a little weird to just not include the hangers with those. Because that's a great way to build up like a hanger supply. So let's see if we can get him out without too much effort. Okay. We got his arm being held on by a staple on that side. Okay. I think we got that. And his arm over here being held on by a staple. And then he's got one of the neck ones instead of one of the head one. No, in addition to the head one. He really secured this doll in. For no reason. So here he is. He looks really good. I can already count like eight staples on him, I think. So we're going to try to get this out without any bloodshed, otherwise known as giant holes in the clothing. So this is kind of a very cool uh, coat. It didn't look as cool in the bag or in the box, but look at this. It's like pleated, or not pleated. Um, the only thing that comes to mind really is armor with the way this is set up. I do wish it had a working zipper, but that's beside the point. But let's see what it looks like. the thing. And this is done with a shadow. So this is inspired by Guess, if we're going off that logo. Okay. So yes, it is a full, um, it is a full hoodie under there. Very cute. I don't sparkle, I just have shade. Anti-Sparkle, the shady t-shirt company. And again, we've got a hoodie, a backup under there, no undershirt, which is fine. We've got some very cool jeans that are stitched with the Shadow High emblem on the pockets. They don't have, because they look like sweatpants in the box, but it was just because they were ruffled. So here are our boots. They have the SH on the top. These are really cool molds. I will prop, we'll probably see a recolor of these in the series coming up of the next release of the, um, oh, what you call it, of the mystery sh mystery shoe boxes. Like I could very easily see that being. Uh, B 
being one of the shoes that gets recolored for the boys. I'm just going to put the coat back on him because his coat is pretty cool. Okay. It goes on pretty easily over that uh, over the sweatshirt. He does also have like a pearl necklace that's got a little bit of chain on the back. You guys can see that. It's half pearls and half chain. And again, we've got our earbuds. He's got very cool um, designs that are shaved into his head. So that's kind of fun. So, very cool doll to start. Arguably, I think he's more interesting to look at than Aiden. But that's beside the point, really. Okay, so let me get the stuff out of here. Real quick. So we've got our Shadow High Hangers. We don't have a ton of Shadow High Hangers, unfortunately. But now we have some that don't have extra clothes to go on them, so that's good. Stand again. There's a staple holding this piece in there underneath this piece. I'm like, they are going wild with the staples lately. I tell you what. There is just too much. <laughs> so let's put his stand together now. Again, we've got the same newer piece that's in the new style that's less fragile. And I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, well, you know, there's only been, you know, a few of the, of the dolls so far. And I'm like, yeah, but Shadow High came out pretty recently. And he didn't have that. So I don't know. It's very bizarre. So we've got our Rainbow High and our Shadow High versions of those. And now this is a little bit different than our previous version because it's just a little bit easier to open. Uh, so here's our Shadow High laptop. Again, it's a little more customized to him. So that's kind of fun. Same mold though. And then we've got one of our Glitterade with a Shadow Remix, is what it's called. It's a flavor. And then we've got a phone. And it's texting glitch. And then we've got a phone case, which just has a little bit of Shadow High emblem on the back of it. And again, it's got the finger mold, so it's the same mold. So, not bad. Same amount of stuff. Arguably more detail on our Shadow High Boy. Uh, on Rex. Just because his outfit is more complicated, I feel like. But the... Um, but Aiden costs $2 more. So, I mean, you get the exact same things, pretty much. The only difference being that you get this mold versus this mold for your drinks, which they both originated in the Rainbow High House. And he gets the AirPods compared to he gets sunglasses, which arguably I prefer more of the AirPods to the sunglasses anyway. So yeah, I think I would get duplicates of Rex when he goes on sale Aiden is cute, but 
maybe I'd only pick him up for customs, but because he's got that glitter hair, he's gonna be one of those dolls that requires a full reroute to do any customs. So if you guys have any questions about these wonderful dolls, which they do have a bit of compatibility between Ken and Barbie. Mainly they're gonna fit better on Barbie than they're gonna fit on Ken, but they will fit on Ken. You just have to make them fit on Ken. So it's gonna depend on the materials that are used. So if there's a little bit of stretch to it, you're gonna be fine. Um, if there's no stretch, be careful. But the accessories are wonderful. They're great for all of your doll brands. So if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Be good, y'all. Bye.